welcome to another edition of Chicago's Rock Television Video Update. I'm Mario Salazar from chicagosrock.com and I'm very glad you could join us. Here's a few happenings and updates. I want to start things off with what I think is going to be perhaps the biggest show of the year, the Thirsty Well Reunion. As you may recall, the Thirsty Well was a very popular uh, club here in the Chicago area for many, many years until it closed in 1996. A reunion is being planned for October 24th. This is going to be a Saturday and it's going to be held at Shark City at Glendale Heights. Uh, some of the bands that are going to be taking part of this reunion, uh, some from back in the day, uh, with all the original members, as some have a few of the members. Uh, among them, there's going to be Paradox, Seventh Heaven, Odette, Cutlass, Hag, Diamond Rags, 1313, Space Giant, Signature, Veilside, The Moles, Bump and Grind, Pandemonium, Catalano, Indecent Exposure. There's going to be also some special appearances by local celebrities. Uh, for additional information on the show, set times, any new additions to the lineups, visit them online. They're at thirstywhale.com. Once again, the show is going to be on October 24th at Shark City in Glendale Heights. Speaking of reunions, a couple prominent figures from back in the day, Mark Odette and John Craig, have decided to join forces and have brought back Odette. As you may recall, one of the popular bands from the late 80s and uh, from that era. Uh, they have been joined by a couple of new members, Steve Mitchell, uh, who was formerly with Vengeance, and uh, Rich Matula, uh, he was with Animation. Uh, they, uh, as Odette, will be performing at the uh, reunion, uh, the Whale reunion, on October 24th. Uh, they have set up a website with information on the band, um, new developments, and uh, additional show dates. Uh, they are at myspace.com slash Odette is back. So check it out when you get a chance. Another band featuring some new members, uh, Next Day Burning. As you may recall, they were hot and happening last year. Uh, then they were not. Uh, now they're back. They got a couple of new members. They stopped over, talked to us for a little bit, and uh, brought us up to date on what's happening in their world. Uh, here's how that went. Spot Peroni of Next Day Burning, and yes, we are back. Along with Jason Clad on guitar, Dave Avito on drums, we've also added two new additional members, Frank Sierra, second guitar, Chris Medina, new vocalist. Uh, luckily, uh, we placed an ad after our uh, original singer left. We found Chris on MySpace Classifieds. After the four of us uh, discussed kind of where we want to take the band, what uh, level that we wanted to go, we decided uh, to add a second guitar player, and luckily Frank was in a band, New Age of Old, with Chris, and uh, kind of auditioned Frank out. Frank fit in right from the start, and here we are. Oh, very cool. Um, I assume you guys are working on some new material, correct? Yeah, uh, actually, our CD was due out, I'm trying to get my dates together, it was due out, I think, earlier this year, and amongst all the kind of BS and drama that we had went through, uh, that got delayed. After we got new members in, uh, studio tracks didn't seem to be holding up to what they, what we had envisioned them to be, now adding the second guitar player, different vocal ranges, so basically we're starting from scratch. Uh, kind of a different drive for us this day, uh, these days, and uh, hopefully later this fall we're gonna have uh, some new music up. Okay, well very cool. Um, uh, where can uh, we uh, keep in touch with you guys and what's happening? You still got the same website? Which is? Uh, yeah, we're new to Facebook, facebook.com and uh, myspace.com backslash next day burning. Definitely uh, the music that's, that's out is kind of outdated for us and with again with the new members we've got something to prove to our fans, to ourselves. Uh, we feel like we've let some people down we kind of disappeared and you know what we're back and we're going to kick some off and ass so uh definitely we hope to get in the studio within the next month or so we've also uh, got some shows coming up so we definitely want to go out there and promote for additional information on the band uh, upcoming shows uh developments on their new album you can visit them online they are at myspace.com slash next day burning a couple interesting events coming up this uh this weekend uh friday August 21st, the Midwest Metal Anthem, uh, taking place once again at J.J. Kelly's in Lansing, Illinois. 
This is actually a two-day event, uh, Friday and Saturday. Uh, it's going to be featuring uh, Eden's Fall, Conquest, Earth and Grave, Soul's Demise, Church or Soul, Cellbound, Sacred Dawn, Degradation, Vicious Attack, MSOD, Ancient Creation, Division. These are all going to be playing at J.J. Kelly's, once again, in uh, Lansing, Illinois, and it's going to be on Friday and Saturday. Uh, tickets can be purchased uh, at the venue, and additional information, including set times and whatnot, uh, it's online. Uh, the website is MidwestMetalAnthem.com, so check it out. This past Saturday, August 15th, I had the opportunity to join some friends and some bands uh, for a summer celebration uh, at the compound in Rosell. Uh, this was basically celebrating the end of summer and uh, an opportunity to get together and listen to some of the great metal talent that we have here in Chicago. Uh, the party featured the talents of Sacred Dawn, Mind Warp Chamber, Wrath, and Wrecked. Uh, we all had a great time, as you can see in some of these scenes. <laughs> report will be featured in the September issue of Chicago'sRock.com so make sure you check that out next month and that is all the time that we have for this month's update look forward to seeing you at a show sometime soon and want to remind you to support your local scene I'm Mario Salazar from Chicago'sRock.com I'll see you next time <laughs>